What's up, you unboxing maniacs? Gab from the Psychic Cast uh, back once again to do another un unboxing of Z Box. Uh, it's what, June? So, this is the June Z Box from Zavi. Uh, I've done a couple of these before. I've been mildly impressed so far. Uh, this one looks a bit bigger, the box. So, I'm quite pleased. Um, that's one good thing. Uh, this one was supposed to be a mutate special. It had a picture on the, on the magazine that comes with the box for you know advertising the next one as a, almost like a Wolverine Weapon X style uh, image. So that kind of got me intrigued. I'm you know I'm a big X Men fan. X Men is my Marvel. You know it's what got me into Marvel really was collecting the X Men. So. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I think they've been spectacularly mishandled for the last few years, which is why my readership of them has probably gone down. But I'll always have a special place in my heart for Marvel's Mutants because they they were my thing. They were my entry into the Marvel Universe, you know, and there's some cool characters, some cool stories out there. So that that's what got me hooked, you know. I, I'm judging each month as it comes. And as soon as I get a month I'm not happy with, I'm going to cancel it and swap it up. I already tried my Geeky Box, or my Geek Box, sorry, it's called. Um, I've cancelled that now, I'm not happy with that. I'm hoping I don't get another box, but, you know, sometimes the, the changeover period isn't isn't great. So, without further ado, this, let's have a look at June's Z-Box from Zavi. This one looks like a big one as well, so, mutate. So right away we've got the artwork there, which is cool. I mean that looks as though we've got the Sphinx there, we've got pyramids flying all above. This usually is what the t-shirt is. So it looks as though the t-shirt is going to be, looks like it's an X-Men Age of Apocalypse t-shirt. That's very cool. Like that. So straight away. I don't know about you, but I can see this little green fella here with the orange bandana signal. And this is Michelangelo. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fabrication. Uh, okay, so this is another cutesy thing. You know where I am on cutesy things, guys. This is not my thing. I do love the turtles. Uh, Michelangelo's always been one of my favourites. And... Um, yeah, so this has come from Funko. I thought it was. This is like the fabric version. This is cool. What's the age? 14 plus, man. I was thinking I'd give this to my son, but no, I can't. 14 plus, that's ridiculous. It's very appropriate at the moment. Uh, you know, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja film, Turtles film is in the cinema. Um, I'm not loving that, i got to be honest. I mean, it's really cute. Like, it's cute. It's a cool toy, like, plush thing. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not for kids. Like that's that's the thing. I, I'm in, you know, kids' toys for kids' toys, collectors' toys for collectors. And this is, to me, this is a kids' toy. But as a collector, I am, you know, it's it's weird. I get it. You know, some people like this sort of cutesy stuff. It's not really for me. Uh, okay. So I'm seeing something else here. We've got another toy, and it's another one of. The Disney Infinity figure. Can you see that? Let's move that out of the way. This one is the Hulk. Uh, so this is for playing with the Disney Infinity game, which I do not have. Now, that kind of bugs me because I got one of these in my geek box as well. I got a Rocket Raccoon. See, so I've got those two characters there. And now I've got two of these. I was never intending on collecting these, but now I have two. And I'm thinking maybe I should. They are quite cool. I do like the you know like the design on it. It's, it's pretty pretty nifty. Um, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more X Men. I've got to be honest with you. It's not really enough X Men for me right now. It's, I'm, I'm I'm not impressed. Now I think the T-shirts is going to be the image that's on the box. So let's have a look. Yes, it is, and I can confirm that yes, it is a tie-in to X-Men Apocalypse, which has been pretty much panned. I've seen some people love it, but most people seem to not like it. There's been some odd reviews. Um, that T-shirt's okay. It, I'm, I'm noticing a theme now with these Z-Boxes. There's a bit of a theme going on in that 
the t-shirts kind of, although they're cool and everything, they depict something that is obviously not really official, and that that's fine, I don't have a problem with that as such. What I have a problem with them is them not having any balls. If you're going to do it, do it properly. Do something cool, don't just get an image. I mean, don't get me wrong, the art is quite nice and that, but it's just a little bit wishy-washy for me as a t-shirt, to be honest with you. Okay, I'll just put that there. Okay, what else have we got in here? Ah, okay, actual comic book. This is more my sort of thing, X-Men, season one. I do not have this, so that's quite cool. This is uh, from you know Marvel season one line. This is kind of where they reimagined the Marvel universe. Now you might think they did that before with the Ultimate Universe, but that was kind of an ongoing thing. With the Marvel uh, season one stuff, they kind of reimagine the characters for now, uh, and then just kind of play it out in graphic novels or you know. Like that sort of thing. It's not really an ongoing as such, although there may be a next season and what have you. Hmm. I'm kind of interested in this. All new original graphic novel, modernising the seminal origin and formative first days of these superhero icons that defend pop culture. The thing is, right, with these sort of books is I don't really think there's actually that much need for them. I get that they want to kind of redo these things um, just because, you know, why not? They can make money off something they've already done. But not just that. I mean, they think that by putting in the pop cultural references and making bringing it a bit more up to date, they're introducing a new audience. But I don't think that's what it actually achieves. I think it just, you know, the hardcore fans buy it because they feel they have to. If I thought this actually worked and brought in new readers, I'd be all for it. I just don't think it does. That being said, I'll give it a read. You know I will. Uh, like I said, I am an X-Men fan. So that's actually cool. That's kind of definitely something that I would be interested in. I think that's it. The only other thing we've got is the magazine. Mutate. And there's the image there. Uh, the magazine, I, I quite like actually. I keep them in my new I give them a good read. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if they've got something about the artist in this one. They did usually in the other ones. Yeah, they've got an interview with, yes, UK illustrator Noz482, an anonymous artist with a love of 80s movies, comics, and free running. Okay. There's a, there's a combination of things. He's got a cool Blade Runner print in here. Have a look at that. That's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying that a lot. Um, yeah, this magazine's not bad. It is used mostly as a sort of promotional material. Looks as though you could have got different turtles. You wouldn't necessarily get Michelangelo as there's Raphael. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with the turtle I got. Uh, yeah, and again, lots of advertising for their other things like threads, which is just a kind of t-shirt box. Um, and what it tells you what's coming next month. Legends, legends. So we've got picture and link there. Um, what do I think? I've got to make a decision now. Do I keep this going for another month? Um, to be honest, I'm not that happy with this month at all. Let's have a look. Michelangelo, you're cool, but uh, not really my thing. Hulk. Another Infinity toy I didn't want. Still, you look cool and everything, but not really for me. The t-shirt is okay. It's not my favourite, but at least it's X-Men. Magazine looks like an interesting five minutes. And I am impressed with the fact that they got X-Men Season 1 in there. Overall, for 20 bucks, it's probably worth it in terms of retail value to me as a fan and what I'm into. i got to say no, and I think... This means this will be my last month with Zbox, unless it's too late to cancel for next month. We'll soon find out. Um, so I reckon, yeah, Zbox is gone. So you know what that means. I've got to find another Geekbox provider. 
and I got a few ideas, guys. Uh, I've been talking about them for you know a while, um, but I'm really liking the look of Loot Crate. So I am going to check out Loot Crate. I think, yeah. Uh, unless something else comes up in the meantime, something with a discount code. You know, I am cheap as hell. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you next time. Uh, the site's down at the moment, but we'll still be on the YouTube channel. Um, the site is just getting a bit of a revamp and getting rid of those dirty, stinking hackers. Uh, but yeah, you can still find us on YouTube, still find us on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I've changed my Twitter handle from at Gabler Sidekick to at Panic in the Skies. That is the blog that I write on the Sidekick cast, and soon it will be getting its own website. So look out for that. Alright, nice one, guys. See you later.